Books are a great form of obtaining information as they help you grasp contents at your own pace and you can read them at your own convenience. So in today's session, let's take a look at some of the best books for Python comprising all the skill levels. We also have a bonus book recommendation just for a veteran Python programmers. Hi everyone, my name is Akash and I welcome all of you to this exciting session of the best books for Python on the Edureka YouTube channel. With that out of the way, let's get started. The agenda for today's session comprises of why to choose Python and the different levels that are the beginner and the domain specific for which we shall provide our recommendations and at the end we will also be recommending the bonus book that we had mentioned earlier. So I hope all of you are clear about the agenda. Now if you want to buy any of the books that we have mentioned links for them are in the description below. Now for all those of you who do not know what Python is. It is a general purpose programming language with features such as simple syntax, dynamic semantics, interpretation and much more which can be used to develop web applications, machine learning algorithms and so forth. So the question stands, why choose Python? In simple words, Python is growing rapidly, amplifying its opportunities for everybody. Surveys and predictions also suggest that Python has a good future ahead. So why wouldn't you want to learn to code with Python? Now that you know why, let us answer how by recommending some of the best books that we know that can help you get started. Let's start off with the beginner level and move up to the advanced levels. The first book that we have for you guys in the beginner level is the Python Crash Course by Eric Matthews. It is a wonderful book for anybody who is looking to get started off with learning any sort of programming language or knows a bit about programming. The book has been divided into two parts. The first part is an introduction to the basics of Python dealing with data types, operators, function, loops and much more. The second part deals with projects related to web development, data visualization, game development and so on. The book also deals with powerful libraries such as NumPy, Matplotlib and there are many which can help you in learning data science and visualization in depth. It is a wonderful book designed for everybody with projects that can bring out the best learning experience. Second on our list is Learning Python by Mark Lutz which is another simple book which goes over the basic concepts of Python and is designed such that it targets the newbies. The unique point of this book is that it goes over the major differences between Python 2 and Python 3 and is also a really good book which we recommend if you want to learn the basics. Third on our list is Think Python by Alan Downey. This book is simple yet effective in going over the basic topics in a straightforward, friendly and communicative way. You should go ahead with it if you are looking for a book that is communicative to its users and like the kind of writing it has to offer. Fourth on the list is Python Programming by John M. Zell. This book targets students of the university level who are being introduced to the world of computer science. It goes over the basic concepts of computer science, further introducing programming in Python and teaches you some of the basic projects which deals with graphics. So anybody who is interested in the world of computer science and has no idea how to get started into the space, this is the book that's for you. It helps you break down the complexity of tools and programming concepts in a very simple and efficient way. Fifth on the list is Python in a Nutshell by Alex Martelli. It is a book that deals with the basic concepts of Python and it is also a wonderful source of information when it comes to libraries and language references. If you are fundamentally strong in Python, you can go ahead and learn some of the more complicated concepts that this book deals with. It is a complete guide for anybody who wants to improve their programming skills in Python. That basically wraps up our recommendations for you guys at the beginner level. Let's move up on the skill level and look at some of the domain specific books that you can read which can ultimately give you an idea about the career options that you would want to choose. The first book on our list is Programming Python by Mark Lutz. Once you are clear with the fundamentals of Python, we suggest you to read this book as it goes deeper into the applications that Python can be used for. It firstly deals with object oriented concepts such as stack, queue and many more with its implementations also. Followed by that, it also covers the basics of GUI programming using the tkinter module, command line scripting which can be used to perform file processing, parallel programming and more. Internet programming where client side network protocols can be accessed, email tools and website implementation techniques. It also helps you in accessing databases and building embedded applications. So as you can see, the book covers a lot and serves as a perfect start to the advanced Python programming. Second on our list is Effective Computation in Physics by Anthony Skopatz and Catherine D. Huff. This book serves as a perfect guide for a scientist or anybody who wants to deal with a lot of data. As it starts out with the basics of Python, 
and then moves deeper into teaching about data and how scientists can use Python to perform their operations quickly and efficiently. So if you are somebody who wants to learn how to use Python for scientific computation purposes and data processing, this is the book to go ahead with. Third on the list is Python for Data Analysis by Wes McKinney. This is the perfect guide to help you become a data analyst as it teaches you the various libraries such as NumPy, Pandas which can be used to manipulate, process, clean and crunch down the data. It also provides a variety of practical case studies which help you mature in data analysis. It helps pave the path to using the right tools and the right methods for data analysis. Fourth on our list is Python Machine Learning by Sebastian Rashka and Wahid Mir Jalili. This book helps you understand and develop various machine learning, deep learning and data analysis algorithms. It covers various libraries such as the SkyKit Learn for implementing machine learning algorithms. Following that, it teaches you about deep learning using the TensorFlow module. It covers various methods which can be used to improve the efficiency of the model that you have made and lastly shows you the various data analysis opportunities that you can achieve using machine learning and deep learning. Last on the list is Django for Beginners by William S. Vincent. Python can be used to develop web applications rapidly and this is the book that helps you in building them. It goes over the basics of Django framework covering structures, views, templates and testing. Further, it also has projects such as newspaper app with the comment section, messaging apps and much more. This is the perfect book for you if you want to use Python in developing web applications. Now as promised for our veteran Python programmers, a special recommendation to them to boost their career is Violin Python by TJ O'Connor. Violin Python provides you with the basics of cybersecurity and also teaches you about forensic analysis. It also teaches you about penetration testing where a red team of security engineers try to break down an organization and a blue team of security engineers try to find the breaking point and solve that to further better the security. You should definitely take a look at this career path as the opportunity for cybersecurity grows day by day and it is estimated that cybersecurity will be one of the top careers by the late 2020s. That brings us to the end of the session for today. I hope the information shared was helpful. And if there are any doubts, please leave a comment for us in the comment section below and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to buy any of the books, we have mentioned all the links in the description below. Till next time, take care and happy learning.